Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you my updated skincare routine. It's been years since my last updated skincare routine and a lot has changed. I work at a Sephora counter and from working at a Sephora counter, I've learned a lot more about skincare than I did know when I was making that first video. Some of these products are going to be more high end because I get gratis, so I get the best of the best. This is also going to be how I remove my makeup um, at the end of a look. If you'd like to kind of like know how I remove my makeup and how I take care of my skin for the night time, keep on watching. All right, first start out by taking my Tatcha Pure Camilla Cleansing Oil. This oil is freaking incredible at removing makeup. I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now, and I need something to break down the makeup before I go in with my cleanser. Um, if I were to just go in with my cleanser, I could get the job done, but I feel like it won't remove the makeup as quickly. Taking an oil-based makeup remover is just going to really break down everything, especially when I'm wearing waterproof eye makeup. I'm going to first take off my lashes. Normally, I would, wouldn't recommend you ripping them off like this, but... I've had them on for very long, so they're not really super, super that melded into my eyelashes. Sometimes when I wear stronger adhesive, it can get pretty irritated in that eye section. Um, just in general, you guys know my eyes are just super, super sensitive. So I'm going to go ahead and take the oil. I'm going to take about two pumps. I'm going to start massaging that on my skin. Start working my forehead, so basically breaking down the makeup. Oh, normally you would want to take your contacts off for this, but whatever, who cares? So now that you look like a raccoon, you just keep massaging that into the skin. Alright, hi! I decided to bring you guys along. I brought my little vlogging camera um, to kind of show you like the wet part of my routine. Um, so I go in and I'm um, just taking my oil. Um, um, two more pumps. <laughs> and I'm just kind of like, going to maneuver that around the eye area. I'm very gentle when it comes to the eye area. I'm basically going like this to kind of not tug at my eyelashes, but to get the mascara and the remaining glue off of that area. And I'm just gonna rinse that with like warm water. You don't have to worry about everything coming off because you will be able to take the rest of the makeup off with the makeup remover and the cleanser. I went ahead and threw on a different shirt just for the sake of the video and not getting my clothes dirty. I'm a little bit more oil, and I'm just gonna get up close and kind of maneuver that oil into my eye. Cause you can still see that I have a little bit of like residual eye makeup. All right, so this is what it looks like right now. Up close, it's still a little dark. I can go in with a little bit of Q-tip and get really in there, but for the purpose of the video, I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna jump in with my cleanser and my Clarisonic. This is the Clarisonic Mia 2. I've had it for years. Um, it has the Radiance brush head on it, and I've been using the Ula Henriksen Truth Juice Cleanser. This one has PHAs, which is um, polyhydroxic acids. Um, to my understanding, PHAs are a little bit more safer and a little bit more gentle on the skin than AHAs. AHAs act as um, basically exfoliating agents. This one has a lot of fruit enzymes, so it's going to kind of gently exfoliate the skin a little bit, but give a nice brightening effect as well. Hold on, I need to take these contacts off. All right. Um, so now I'm going to go into my cleanser. I'm going to, I don't know if this is correct, but I like to kind of wet my, um, Mia Smart a little bit before. And then I'm just going to basically take, like, a dollop like this. Like, it's not like an exact science, but about that much. But I like to get my face wet a little bit before. I'm going to start massaging that into the skin. I can take a little bit of it and kind of just, like, maneuver around there. And then this machine does the work for you. You don't have to really do a lot of work to kind of get the oscillation going. That's the point of it. I just could just take it like this. I do take it around the eyes. I know it's probably not the best thing to do and probably not the safest, but whatever, I don't care. I'm just going to take a paper towel so that way I don't get the bacteria back onto my skin. I'll meet you back at the studio for better lighting for the remaining parts of video. So now that we're back in the studio, am I centered? I don't care. So now that we're freshly cleansed and our skin is 
pretty much clean for the most part. So after our skin is cleansed, it's time to go in with our essence. But before we do that, I'm going to teach you guys one thing that I like to do once a week to two times a week, depending on how dry my skin is. Right now it's pretty dry because, you know, Corona and Corona. I like to go in with actual physical exfoliants for that. Physical exfoliant of choice is these Neogen Lemon Peel Pads. They have a dual side to them. They have a more like harsh, rich side and a more softer side. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to basically give you guys options for a physical exfoliant. This is one of them. So this here is the Fresh Kombucha Facial Treatment Essence. In essence, think of it kind of like a supercharged carrier for all of your skincare. This shit is going to make everything that you put on top of your face, whether it be a $100 serum or $20 serum, or a $5 serum, I'm not fucking judging, work better and deeper into your skin. So it's basically going to open up the water channels to your skin to kind of um, have everything penetrate deeper into the skin. And this one here from Fresh is my favorite because it's alcohol-free. not strip your skin at all. And also the reason why I like this is because I'm also getting a treatment, as the name suggests, facial treatment essence. Um, the black tea is going to be a nice anti-aging ingredient and the kombucha is going to help with anti-pollution, which, corona, you know? <laughs> Stay safe out there, honeys. I like to press it into the skin, like I press it in my hands, and then press it on to my skin. Basically, anywhere that I'm gonna take a serum. It smells so good. It's a little bit pricey, but go on YouTube and look up what an essence does and see for yourself how amazing your skin is gonna be. Don't want to take my word for it. Google it. This under makeup also looks freaking bomb. Next, I'm going to go in with my... Okay, so serums. Hold on. Before I go in, serums are there to be your concentrated, targeted... So we have serums that just do about just about anything. We have vitamin C that's going to help dullness and discoloration on the skin. Hyaluronic acid that's going to be a nice hydrating, pumping agent to the skin. We have different types of fruit extracts that are going to be enzymatically exfoliating the skin. Um, we have different serums that are going to give a nice plumping, visible like sensation to the skin. What I like to go in is I like to go in with hydration and exfoliation. If I was to go in with the lemon peel pads that I was telling you about, I would skip this step. But because I'm not going to go ahead and do that, I'm going to go in with the squalene lactic acid resurfacing night serum. It's daytime, obviously, but I'm going to go in with it anyway because I'm going to wear SPF. This one is from Biosons. This is really good because it's a vegan-derived lactic acid, so it's a little bit more softer and gentle and milder on the skin. This one also has, I believe, clover in it, which is nice for blue light protection and It's good. Biosense is amazing. They're sustainable, cruelty-free, vegan, all the good stuff. They blacklist over 2,000 ingredients. They're just a really good brand if you're on the cleaner side, the more health-conscious side. I love their products. None of their products break me out. Their oil is amazing. You have to go try it. Anything of the brand, amazing. Jonathan Venice endorses it. 9 out of 10. Loves it. Period. Point blank. Okay. Pumps. Generous pumps. I'm gonna get in the back of my hand. I'm gonna press it. It does sting a little bit. I did shave, so it does sting. It's totally normal. That's to be expected. Don't freak out. You're gonna have baby smooth skin. So, because it is corona time, still get a little bit dry because your skin's trying to fight off whatever's happening in the world. And you're cooped up and you're inside and the heat's going on, especially if you live in a more cold climate like Massachusetts right now. Um, one thing that you need is a drink of water. So, <laughs> but. This is the Drug Elephant F-Bomb. This is a great mask-like serum that's going to be good um, at just giving your skin a nice boost of hydration. This one has a bunch of different nice ingredients in it. You can read down the ingredient list. I'm drawing a blank on what the ingredients are. I know it has vitamin F in it because it says it over here. Um, so I'm going to put it down on the screen what vitamin F does right here and explaining what the actual thing does because I'm drawing a blank right now. So I'm going to take a pump of this. I'm gonna massage that into my skin like I would moisturizer. I'm gonna like I said, treat it like my serum. Hopefully, I'm doing this right, honestly, because I haven't done my skincare routine in like so long. I know I shouldn't admit that on camera, but it's true. You know, depression will get to you. So now your skin is hydrated. You wanna go in with your moisturizer. I know I went in with like a moisturizing like serum, but I had to double up. My skin has been super dry lately, like I said. So this is my new favorite moisturizer. 
It's the Vegan Milk Moisturizer from Milk. It has a bunch of different milk extracts in it. It's vegan, so it's not real milk. It's, again, draw a blank. Hold on, let me do my research. All right, let me pull up the back. So this has desert milk, which is going to hydrate, and it's from extracts of plants that live in crazy climates. It has baobab tree extract in it. Baobab is a tree. Baobab, say that for the word. Baobab, 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 baobab. Baobab is a tree that grows in the desert where there is no moisture. So, you know, you're getting your skin really nice and moisturized. It has thin milk, shea butter and oat milk that's going to refresh and soften the skin and soothe while calming and comforting the skin as well. Argan milk, grapeseed oil, and squalene. Squalene, amazing. Get on that bandwagon. It seals and moisturizes and provides antioxidant benefits. So this is an all-around creamy deliciousness moisturizer. It smells like nothing, really. It smells like clean, like soap, like luxury. It's a little bit thicker, so you really need to get a moisturizer nice and deep into the skin. Give a nice healthy glow to the skin, honey, period. Don't forget the fucking hands. I'm way too lazy to go grab my actual eye cream because I can't find her right now. But normally I would go in with the peptide eye gel from Biosance. Told you, Biosance is the jam. Peptides are great at blurring dark circles, brightening up the skin, squealing nice moisturizing agents, gonna give a nice plumping sensation to the skin. But for right now, I'm going in with the Inky List Caffeine Eye Cream, just because it's the one that's over here right now. Caffeine is great at depuffing and also great at highlighting dark circles. This is from Inky List, which is similar to The Ordinary. It's a UK-based brand that cuts out the middleman to kind of get the ingredients nice to your skin without having to pay an arm and a leg. They also don't focus on a lot of crazy packaging, so that's why you get something like this for like 10 bucks as opposed to like a 30 or 40 50 dollar eye cream hey not hating love me some tatcha but for right now i'm just gonna go in with this just because it's here and next i'm just gonna go in with an oil i'm just gonna show you what oil i would use but i'm not gonna actually do oil because again like i said it is three o'clock and i'm not about to get oily right now this is the lord jones royal oil this one is a cbd oil now um i went to a lord jones training met the owner she's amazing she's incredible love to love her and she told us about the benefits of cbd so cbd is a great oil because it's going to be deeply nourishing deeply penetrating on the skin this one doesn't break me out i was in chicago recently where the weather was really dry and i was parched my skin was dry honey so I went in with the royal oil and it literally just changed my skin. It made my skin so dewy and amazing. And it just deeply nourishes, deeply penetrates the skin. It has a bunch of benefits to CBD. Go give it a shot. Go give it a try. It's a forest close right now, but get yourself a sample when we come back, Annie. So that concludes my nighttime skincare routine. It varies and it changes depending on like what I actually need for my skin. I haven't been doing it very religiously like I'm supposed to. I hope you guys can see on camera how much my skin has changed from that last video. I feel like my texture, overall pores, hydration, everything just looks more put together. I feel like I have more knowledge. Um, I made this video very like banter-esque and very fun, but I do 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 take skincare very seriously. Um, it's the only skin you have, you only get once, you gotta take care of it. Wear your SPF because Bitch, you age. The fuck? If you guys like this video, don't forget to leave a comment down below saying what your favorite product was and what your favorite skincare routine is. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow my Instagram. Don't forget to follow my TikTok and subscribe to my YouTube. See you guys in the next one.